So I'm just going to move to the side view now and start thinking about animation. So I just somewhere where I can see this and still spin it around. So I'm going to go to Edit, Project Settings, Frame Rate's fine at 30. I'm going to make my first frame 1 on my last frame 30. Ready for Unity and select frame 1. And what I generally do is just to make sure everything gets a good keyframe on the first frame and everything's keyframed out there which is good. Now halfway through my pose is going to be about frame 15 and my final one's going to be frame 30. What I'll do is on frame 30 I'll just copy my start pose with my end pose and that way it'll link up and give a perfect walk cycle. And for this tutorial I'm only going to do a simple walk cycle. We could do a, an idle stand or something like that which would work really well. But now I'm going to turn on my auto keyframer because it's always a good place to start. Start with my left thigh and just move that back slightly and again the knee, just bend the knee a little bit there. In fact probably the thigh has gone back too far in that position. There we go. Now my right thigh is going to come forward a little bit like so. My right shoulder will come forward a little bit and we can spin it around in a moment just to make sure we've got it right. So bring it like that and again this is what we need to check. It's around here for the elbow, we probably need to bring the elbow in a little bit like that and up a little bit. like so. And then the left shoulder and elbow will spin that back. There we go, spin it around again. That sort of thing. And he's in a good striding position. Good. So to get halfway through this, it'd be frame 15. So I need to think about where well, we'll be halfway between there, and that'd be about frame um, eight. And I need to think about how I'm going to move my man again. So in order to move him, go to my left knee, and your knee tends to come up quite high, or your leg tends to come up quite high. You need Bring it back to the middle again. Could do the come up just a little bit more there. Bring my right thigh back there. I'm going to leave the arms because I'm just going to put a keyframe in on frame 15 for them. So again on the thigh, take that back. It's about here. back. The left thigh can come forward and the knee come back again like so. Then I just move my shoulders like that. I could give it a quick test just to ah, it's kind of working okay at this stage. So frame 22 should be where I want to be next and again I'm going to kick off with the um, right thigh just bringing that back a little bit and the knee up really high here 
as I did before on the other side and bring this leg about here. Okay, I said I was going to duplicate the first frame to the frame 30 and the way I do that is just go to window timeline, bring up my timeline, hold down control and drag off to frame 30 and I get the keyframe. So that's that be done. Not much of a bob as he's walking up and down. So a little we can easily rectify that and so I just go to my view and the side view because I want to see this properly get a hold of my skin mesh and I'll be bringing this down so I'll just keep a record of the Y position and frame 15 paste in that Y position again and at frame 30 paste in that Y position so somewhere in between here it needs to come back up a touch zero does the job just fine. So now if I play that we get a little bit of head bob there. And that's a, a quick and dirty way of doing it. So I turn off the play button, turn off my auto keyframer and file save as, save it as man anim and all I need to do now is drop that into my unity project so I will do that. So here I am in unity and I've brought across my figure new man he's here in my asset panel so if I just drag him into the scene and we can see he is there. If I press the play button now we should see him move and we do. At the moment it just does it once and that's fine for now because it will all be controlled by code. So what we do is um, to, con to be able to control it by code we need to set up some animation um, properties in here. So if I right click or control click on the man I can choose import settings and in here for my animation I can split the animation into multiple clips so add a clip if I say my idle is just one frame I didn't really make an idle pose but that would do and if I click and add another clip I can see that my walk clip actually let's make it lowercase is going to go from frame 1 and if you remember we did it to frame 30 and choose import. That has now given us uh, an idle clip over here and a walk clip which is now able to be controlled by code so when we drag on a character controller we can tell the character controller that when the man is walking to play the walk animation and when it's uh, still we can play the idle animation and it shows how to do full animation from Cinema 4D into Unity.